Chazaku Baruch, Bezat Hashem in Chai is going to be five times, please be on time. The Halacha by Kadosh, 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 there's three statements that we say, Kadosh Baruch and Yimloch. Those three statements, each one of them, you're supposed to lift up your feet a little bit in each one of them. And in the beginning, where we say Kadosh, 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 we do it three times equally. One, twice, three, for the Kadosh, Kadosh, and then for the Baruch one time, and then Yimloch another time. Now, what's the reason for the lifting of the legs? And it's very interesting because it's one of those customs that both the Sfaradim and the Ashkenazim, everybody accepted upon themselves. So where did it come from? What's its source? Uh, so, so I said, there's some sources that say that the reason is because when HaKadosh Baruch Hu, you're in the presence of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, so obviously the Melech Malchei Melachim is no ordinary king and it causes a trepidation. It says when HaKadosh Baruch Hu brings the Shekhinah into the world, even the trees shake. So to connote that, to show a sign of trepidation and awe before HaKadosh Baruch Hu, we move ourselves to show that we're sort of shaking before HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That's number one. Number two is that uh, since we uh, just to just make a comparison that's not really a comparison at all, but to give, bring out the point, a lot of times when you have um, presidents or you have people of uh, a lot of honor and fame, so the, when they walk by, people want to touch them, people want to give them high fives, want to shake, they want to get close to them as much as the bodyguards will allow. And in a certain sense, the neshama yearns for HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu shochen b'meromim. He resides uh, in, a, in a certain capacity in the heavens, and we yearn to come closer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Our neshama yearns for HaKadosh Baruch Hu, so we lift our bodies up to signify that as well. So these are two uh, reasons why we uh, express ourselves and lift ourselves during the Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. According to the Mekubarim, you should close your eyes when you say Kadosh, 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 and actually, while your eyes are closed, lift them towards the heavens. Again, it's a sign of yearning, it's a sign of closeness. The reason why we close our eyes is because we don't want to actually gaze upon the presence of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, but we definitely yearn for the presence of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Baruch Adonai.